Hello, thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you can hear me today. I'm trying out a new de recording device, so we'll see how things go. Working on a double page layout. Uh, the designs are from Marjorie and Designs, the Marshmallow Easter Fun. The grass is from, the short grass is from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs, the tall grass from Cuddly Cute Designs. The fence is from Cricut Paper Dolls, the Cricut Cartridge Every or Paper Dolls Dress Up, excuse me. And paper is all from my stash. So I'm just gonna set things aside here. I did put down the base mats on my pages just to save time and so you didn't have to hear me talk to myself to get them straight. I tend to do that often. I think it's a side effect of living by myself. Anyway, the uh, width of the top pages here is 11 and 7 eighths by 11 and 3 quarters. So I'm going to set one aside and I just kind of have to put my layouts together how I just to kind of get a base idea of how I'm putting things on and then I start putting my pieces down. I did pre-ink all of my pieces uh, for my fence, obviously my grass, I did quite a bit of inking on that. This smudging stuff, it's just stuff I put down with, um, or it's just inked with the sponge dauber. I just kind of dabbed it around all over. Uh, looking for my tall grass pieces. I took this apart a bit. I had it more together. I apologize. So, okay, I think we'll go with. Let's see. Now, these and my tall grass pieces I did run through the Swiss Dots Cuddle Bug. After I was done, I just ran my sponge dauber over the top with a darker ink. That's how I got them a little bit darker color, if you can see that. So we're going to have a tall bunny over here. And so then my grass is going to be going down first. So I'm going to pull these pieces away. My grass is going up just a bit. And I use two different kinds of glue on my scrapbooking. I use art glitter glue. And I also use Beacon 3-in-1 glue. Uh, I use that to put down the larger pieces. I need the extra wiggle room, guys. I'm... Not the greatest at uh, getting things straight, so. Okay, this one can go down all the way. These at the top, I will leave a little bit of glue off just because they're gonna be possibly covering photo mats. So I don't want them to go all the way down. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Sounds like it's supposed to be quite nice here today for a change. Uh, we've had just a little snow yesterday. And having snow every other day, it's starting to add up. So I'm hoping it decides that spring will be coming soon. The papers I'm using, some are from my stash. The printed papers, like the... Uh, blue like the bunny ear background blue and green and pink that is from 
Authentique, it's an Easter pattern. The, uh, this pink and kind of cream color also is from Authentique from that same collection. And the yellow is just from my stash. I'm just uh, trying to go through and scrapbook my stash. I have some odds and ends papers. I've gotten some some new things, but I just like I said trying to use up some of my older papers, and then I will purchase new or go shopping at my sister's because she has paper galore. Okay, I'm going to put my foot, ah, uh, my foot, yes, my fence down next. Get a, I'm just going to lay my grass on here to get a bit of an idea where I would like it. And I think it's a little quicker. We will use this. I um, have a few different layouts I've got ready to go. I've been putting some pieces together and so I'll be doing, well I should say hope to be doing a few more videos. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products or any of the designs or anything, feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to help. I enjoy uh, helping other people and just generally chatting with others just doesn't seem like there are a lot of paper piecing paper crafters that do videos anymore um, and if I want to give a shout out to Kim Ferguson to say thank you for the video on how she, you do your videos uh, she was a big help in getting me started in this I apologize if I'm not in frame here. I'm it's all kind of new to me. Anyway, she's got a great channel, so be sure and check her out. She does a wonderful job. I enjoy listening to her and watching her videos. Okay. I'm not popping any of my pieces down or popping any of them up today. I'm just leaving everything flat. Uh, sometimes paper alone can get quite heavy and it starts to add a lot of dimension in scrapbooks so every now and then I do but I'm just leaving these flat today and putting him in here and then I have my eggs I'm just trying to decide I could go with these three. Exactly which colors I'm putting together. These are going behind the grass some, that's why I didn't completely put it all down. And we'll put, well, this egg on next. The eggs also were part of the uh, Marshmallow Bunny Easter file from Marjorie and Designs. I believe there are five or six different bunnies on there. And I just resized one of the eggs that was on there so it fit my needs there. I think they're about three inches uh, just for this particular layout. Just in case you're wonder in there. Uh, lift this up a little bit to get behind there. And that is page one. I will set that aside, get started on the second page. At the end I will have a photo of both of the layouts together as you can see. I am going to bring this one back in a moment. So I can get my fence in. Excuse me if my head gets in the way. I apologize. But I do want to have my fence meeting up. 
uh, with the other side as best I can. So get some glue on that. The nice thing about the beacon, if you've not used it, is also once it dries, it erases just so wonderful if you have a you know extra that oozes out or whatever it erases really nicely with the uh, adhesive erasers i love those things i just like the art glitter glue for the real fine detail it, uh... oh see and i didn't put my grass down that's why i like this beacon just because it uh allows me to take things up if I haven't burnished it down real well. So, let's try this again. Put this grass on, this tall grass. This is, I'll do this one first. Again, I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the top. Uh, just in case the photo mats, it would have to cover, happen to cover any of those. This uh, down just a little bit here. This actually was, it was connected at the bottom. Uh, this file, the grass, the tall grass, I just cut it off and that's why it's unfortunately in some pieces but and that's just because I cut it a little bit longer than I actually decided I needed it but um, so if you do get it it does or if you do have it it's on one of the cuticans patterns uh, but yeah it's it's all connected at the bottom Okay, so we will try this whole fence thing again. I'm sure you guys don't have problems like that. I uh, quite often am picking things up because I don't get them in the right order. It all works out in the end. Okay, we'll try this again. Okay. It's on there. I am going to cap this other glue. Sorry everyone, I talk for a living at work all day and so uh, on the weekends I tend to be quite, uh, quite quiet. Um, get this back in frame, I hope. So I'm trying to learn to talk on my videos more too, I apologize. Now my family and friends might tell you that I never am quiet, so... I disagree with them, but, all right, let's just, this has got a little bit bigger rabbit, he's uh, got a little bit more, so we'll just put it over a little bit, so we're not covering up the eggs too much. Again, the eggs are just paper from my stash that I've used, and I just decided to kind of put together here. The uh, layout itself is actually inspired from a, a layout I saw on Pinterest. I just uh, changed it up a little bit. It made it my own, but um, I enjoy making spring and summer. I do enjoy making holiday layouts like Christmas and Thanksgiving but and Halloween. But I just am ready for spring. Thought it would be time to do some 
fun spring layouts and things. Next one I'm working on is for my a picture of my great niece. She's quite the little jokester, so we will do that. Okay, here's my other bunny. You may have seen these if you follow me on Facebook on Prairie Paper Crafts. You might have seen that I did post these uh, two bunnies. And here they are on layouts now. Get my photo mats on and we'll be done. Thank you for to uh, thank you to my new subscribers. I believe I forgot to say that. I appreciate that. If there's uh, anything you want to see as far as scrap look layouts or wondering how I do something or how to do something. Please reach out to me. I will be happy to see what I can help you with. I'm sure you're all seasoned paper crafters and nothing I could probably help with, but uh, always willing to try. Okay, and again, just lifting up my grass and just kind of stick this one where it fits. There's never a lot of rhyme or reason, folks. I just I'm going to hold it up here. And I want to thank you for joining me. I will post the double layout together at the end of the video. Have a great day. Thank you.